Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing a uh, line graph data interpretation. I am continuing line graph data interpretation. First, we need to uh, see the information which is provided in the given uh, line graph. After that, we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Here, understanding of given information, after that, uh, the solving the uh, problems that is very important uh, whenever you are solving any kind of uh, data interpretation right <clears throat> here if you observe carefully here the information is about uh, profit earned by a company during various years profit earned by a company during various years that is 2005 2006 2007 2008 2009 these are the five years. In these five years, uh, how much profit is earned by the company? That is the given information. And uh, all the values which are provided in the line graph, that is in terms of uh, lakhs. It means uh, profit values are given in terms of uh, lakhs. Profit values. All the profit values are given in terms of lakhs. And if you observe carefully to the y axis to the y axis you are given the numbers with a scale of uh, 5 and uh, here the numbers are directly not shown based on the lines you need to take the values uh, if any point is in between two lines you need to take the exactly middle value of those uh, two values uh, according to the scale here the information is very clear the profit earned by a company over the years from 2005 to 2009 for 5 years and uh, all the values which are provided in the line graph that is in terms of lakhs that is another point and one more point is uh, profit is equal to income minus expenditure profit is equal to income minus expenditure so from this uh, here if you observe carefully in this formula total you will be having three variables one is profit one is income one is expenditure out of these three variables profit values are directly given in case if we give uh, uh, expenditure value then income is equal to profit plus expenditure or else uh, if we give income value then expenditure is equal to income minus profit expenditure is equal to income minus profit so out of three variables if we know any two variables it is very easy to calculate the third variable right that is the uh, information which is provided in this line graph uh, now based on that you need to solve the questions uh, accordingly look at the first question what is the first question which is provided in this line graph here what is the average profit earned by company over the years here we need to calculate the average profit earned by company over the years. As we all know that average is equal to what? Average is equal to sum of observations divided by number of observations. Average is equal to sum of observations divided by number of observations. Here sum of observations is nothing but we need to take the total profit we need to take the total profit in terms of uh, lakhs all the values are given in terms of lakhs so you need to take a uh, total profit of all the years whereas coming to the denominator that is number of observations number of observation is nothing but uh, in this case you need to take number of years that is the denominator value now you can calculate the required average profit required average profit which is equal to total profit here the values are not given exactly right so what you'll do is first note it on the values here the first value is 25 second value is 35 and next the value is in between 20 and 25 so that it will be 22.5 and next one this is uh, 30 exactly and next one this is in between 35 and 40 so that it is 37.5 here all the values are in terms of lakhs uh, 25 lakhs 35 lakhs 22.5 lakhs 30 lakhs 37.5 lakhs these are the profits earned by company over the 
years from 2005 to 2009. Now you can add all the values. First 25 plus 35 plus uh, again 22.5 plus 13 plus 37.5. That is the sum of all the profits over the years divided by number of years. Number of years that we have given is uh, total 5 years. 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total 5 years. Denominator is 5. Now you can add all the values in the numerator. Once it is done, calculation part is very easy. Here 25 plus 35, that is 60. 60 plus 30, 90. 60 plus 30, 90. And then you can add these two. Here it is... Uh, 2.5, 7.5, that is 10. 10, that you can add to 30. 30 plus 30, 60. So, 90 plus 60, which is equal to 150. 90 plus 60, that is 150. Divided by 5, that is equal to, that is equal to, you can cancel with 5 table directly, it will be 30. All the values are given in terms of lakhs, therefore, you will get the required average profit that is in terms of uh, lakhs only. Therefore, average profit is equal to 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs is the right answer for this question, which is option D. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Okay. Let us look at the second question. Here, what is the second question that we need to calculate? Look at the question. What was the approximate percentage increase in the profit of company in the year 2008 from the previous year? Here we need to calculate percentage increment. We need to calculate percentage increment. In which year? 2008. As comparing with the previous year value. Here one more thing which is given is we don't want to calculate the exact value. We need to calculate the approximate value. He is not asking us to calculate the exact value. He is asking us to calculate the approximate value. Okay. Basically how can we calculate percentage increment or percentage more than which is nothing but a difference between those two values. Difference between those two values divided by less value divided by less value among the values which we are comparing okay whenever we are calculating percentage increment or percentage decrement the uh, comparison is always done between the two values only not more than that okay so you need to take the difference between those two values in the numerator and in the denominator you need to take the less value among those two and whenever you are calculating percentage in 200 percentage symbol that is a common point right therefore percentage increment the required percentage increment which is equal to first note down the values here we are calculating in the year 2008 2008 value which is 30 lakhs whereas as comparing with the previous year that is 2007 2007 value which is 22.5 22.5 right so now you need to take the difference between those two. 30 minus 22.5 divided by less value or else previous value both are same which is 22.5 right into 100 percentage. Now you can take this value as here it is 7.5 divided by 22.5 into 100 percentage. Again uh, 0 0 gets cancelled. You can cancel with uh, 25 table. 25 3 times, 25 9 times and next 3 1 sir, 3 3 sir. Therefore, 1 third of 100 which is equal to 33 1 by 3 percentage. 33 1 by 3 percentage. Here, the exact value is 33 1 by 3 percentage but he is not asking us to calculate the exact value. We need to take the approximate percentage increment. We need to calculate approximate percentage increment that is uh, according to the options uh, 33 is there. Therefore, you can take the answer as 33 percentage increment. That is our required answer. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. 
as we are calculating percentage increment remember whenever you are calculating this percentage increment value always take the numerator as difference between those two values and the denominator is less value among the values that you are comparing okay and uh, when you are calculating the percentage into 100 percentage symbol that is a common point okay here the answer is 33 percentage increment that is our answer let us look at the third question if the expenditure of company in the year 2009 was 28 lakhs here expenditure expenditure in the year 2009 which is equal to 28 lakhs which is equal to 28 lakhs according to the graph according to the graph uh, here profit value profit value in the year 2009 which is equal to here it is in between 35 and 40 so that this particular value becomes 37.5 lakhs 37.5 lakhs here uh as the information this particular formula is given sometimes he will not mention about this particular formula you have to know about it uh, here profit is nothing but income minus expenditure here expenditure value is given and profit also given so calculating the income is very easy right so income is equal to from that formula we can said that income is equal to expenditure plus profit that will gives you the income of a company in the year 2009 here income in the year 2009 which is equal to now you can add those two values you will get the answer 28 plus 37.5 all the values are in terms of lakhs 28 lakhs and 37.5 lakhs after adding these two what you will get is income in 2009 income in 2009 which is equal to here uh, it is uh, you can take two from here so that it will be 30 and 35 35 30 65.5 lakhs that is the income of company in the year 2009 income of company in the year 2009 which is 65.5 lakhs that is option b option b is the right answer for this question option b let us look at the fourth question here the fourth question is uh, if the income of company in the year 2007 income of company income of company in the year 2007 which is given as uh, 45 lakhs that is 45 lakhs and look at 2007 profit value profit value profit in 2007 profit in 2007 that is uh, in between 20 and 25 which is 22.5 that is 22.5 lakhs income value is given and also profit value is given now the question what is asking is what was the expenditure of company in the year expenditure expenditure in 2007 which is equal to always if you want the expenditure you need to subtract the profit value from the income profit value from the income so that you will get the expenditure value so expenditure in 2007 which is equal to expenditure in 2007 that is equal to what is the income given 45 lakhs 45 lakhs minus uh, 22.5 lakhs 22.5 lakhs after subtracting this uh, if you take uh, this is just half of this 45 so you will be left over with again 22.5 right 22.5 lakhs how can you write here options are given in terms of uh, direct values he is not giving like uh, uh, 22.5 lakhs 22.5 lakhs is nothing but 22 lakhs 50000 22 lakhs 50000 it means 225 followed by four zeros 225 followed by four zeros which is option d option d is the right answer for this question here the expenditure of 
company in the year 2007 which is equal to 22 lakhs 50000 that is our answer option d last question in this session what was the respective ratio here we need to calculate the ratio between ratio between what profit earned by company in the year 2005 to the profit earned by company in the year 2009 so profit earned by company in the year 2005 and profit earned by company in the year 2009 that is the ratio we need to calculate first of all look at the graph here the graph 2005 we are talking about 2005 and 2009 2005 profit that is given as 25 2009 profit that is given as uh, which is in between 35 and 40 so that it will be 37.5 right now you need to take the ratio of these two 25 is to 37.5 37.5 so instead of uh, uh, taking this decimal point you just multiply both the sides with 10 so that it will be converted into only the numbers 250 is to 375 37.5 into 10 so that it will be 375 now you can cancel with the 25 table first 25 10 times and next 25 once and still 12 is left over 25 five times after that again you can cancel with the five table 5 to 0 5 3 0 therefore the ratio of uh, profits in the year 2005 and 2009 which is 2 is to 3 2 is to 3 is the right answer for this question that is option c option c is the right choice for this question guys in this way you need to solve the questions related to profits income and expenditure and uh, i hope you understand each and every problem in this session thank you thanks for watching